Thylacinus sinocephalus, more commonly known as the Tasmanian Tiger. These gorgeous creatures once roamed free through Van Diemen's land before colonisation by the British turned the people of Tasmania against them. Credited with attacks on livestock, bounties were established to lower their numbers, being ruthlessly hunted down and losing their homes to the expansion of civilization, by the 1930s, they were essentially wiped out. The only tigers remaining alive were held in captivity, in zoos not just in Tasmania, but exported all over the world, far removed from their natural habitat. And by September 1936, the last documented tiger to be held in captivity died in the Hobart Zoo. It's a sad tale that perfectly showcases the destruction mankind is capable of. Though the thylacine may be officially extinct, it does live on in the hearts of many Tasmanians and our way of life, to take pride in what we have and never forget the mistakes we've made. But while some agree that the Tasmanian tiger will never be seen again, many believe them to still be out there in small numbers, hiding well away from those who destroyed them, possibly even thriving in isolation. However, only the most naive and exceptionally dim-witted explorers truly believe that they actually have a chance of finding one alive. G'day, I'm Square Eye Jack, and today we begin our expedition to find the Tasmanian Tiger. Our journey begins in the city of Launceston, a city that's barely a city, but its roots with the Tassie Tiger are still strong to this day. Everywhere you look, you'll find thylacines in their prime, immortalised in statues, climbable sculptures, mini golf courses, more statues, and the free Tiger bus transports commuters to and from the city for work. Who said the Tassie Tiger was extinct? They're all over the bloody place! You can't escape it. Even on license plates, thousands of tiny tigers flood the state. The dark history truly is a part of our everyday lives. But to fully explore what this symbol means to the people of this state, we need their wisdom and perspective. So it's time to hit the streets of Launceston to see what the locals have to say. Oh, look at this over here. We've already found some Tasmanian tigers. They're here everywhere, all through the mall. What does the Tasmanian tiger represent for you? <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> Fuck no, that's a good answer. Excuse me, sir. Do you think the Tasmanian tiger is still out there somewhere or is he definitely extinct? Uh, he's definitely not out there. Not out there? That's a shame. Excuse me, sir. Do you think the Tasmanian tiger is still alive or is it definitely extinct? Oh, I'm from Melbourne and Melbourne people don't know anything. They don't know anything? Oh, no worries, thank you. Do you think the Tasmanian tiger is still out there or are they definitely extinct? Oh, good question. Good question. I'd like to think they were out there but not sure. Excuse me sir, do you think the Tasmanian tiger is definitely extinct or are they still out there somewhere? No, absolutely extinct. Absolutely extinct? That's a bit pessimistic, don't you think? Excuse me guys, do you think the Tasmanian tiger is still out there or is he definitely extinct? Uh, definitely extinct. I reckon it's alive. I reckon it's alive and out there. Yeah, do you know where I can find one? Wouldn't have a clue, mate. Wouldn't have a clue? Yeah, nah. no. You're not much help to me then, so thanks. <laughs> do you think the Tasmanian tiger is still out there or is it definitely extinct? Arr, extinct. Uh, extinct? <laughs> Alright, thank you. Excuse me, ma'am. I was just wondering if you think the Tasmanian tiger is definitely extinct or are they still possibly out there somewhere? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Ooh. <laughs> Well, we've certainly learned something from this experience today. It's that nobody gives a shit. Which is a damn shame if you ask me, because it's important that we remember our history so that we're not doomed to repeat it. 
While it's definitely an extreme reaction to go completely nuclear on an entire species that was just doing what it needed to do for survival, it is understandable mankind being intimidated by such a creature. While only the size of a large dog, its jaw opened an impressive 80 degrees, and its mysterious, sly nature has eyewitness accounts explaining that you knew you were being stalked. It's been debated whether or not the animal would pursue or ambush its prey, but given the known behaviour and a typically nocturnal presence, it becomes much clearer why centuries ago they were considered such a threat. They've often been compared to a wolf, mistakenly being described as the Tasmanian wolf because of the similar characteristics. But that's grossly incorrect in my opinion. It may look canine, but it's absolutely a marsupial. Any mammal that carries its young in a pouch can be considered a marsupial, meaning they're closer related to a kangaroo, quoll, or a numbat than any kind of wolf. I mean, does it really matter though? Imagine being out in the bush all on your own and turning around seeing one of these big fellas standing there staring you down with his jaws wide open, ready to take you out. Trust me, you wouldn't stick around for the fine details. So now that we know what to look for, we just need to start looking. Oh wait, I've already found one. Thylacines were once embedded deep through the northern, midland and coastal areas of the state, so much of which is covered in mountains and deep valleys, but also prime farming land the early settlers were to take advantage of. And with coastal locations being popular targets for urban expansion is what drove the tigers out of their homes. But so much of the island to this day is still covered in thick, lush bushland, practically impassable for humans. However, annual bushfires in the state's extreme and unpredictable summer conditions have raped the land time and time again. Another contributing factor that could dispute the thylacine's continued existence. For a species assumed to be extinct, isolation in remote locations, while continuously harder to find, does still exist. But in their prime before civilization, they would have filled our streets. Not just the streets of Launceston, but streets all over the country. While historically accepted that the thylacine is in fact the Tasmanian tiger, proof has been discovered that the animal existed on the mainland of Australia thousands of years ago. But back to present times, we're currently on foot headed into the heart of Launceston, its famous cataract gorge. Trust me, it's about the only thing this place has going for it. Formed millions of years ago, this Jurassic monument has since been flooded with water and now serves as a popular tourist attraction. During the heat of summer, it's one of the best places to go for a swim, in the pool or in the basin itself. It's an absolute geographical marvel to take in, and one of the best ways to do that is via the longest single-span chairlift in the Southern Hemisphere. Even Japanese Crash Bandicoot thinks it's an absolute ripper. This entire place would have been prime thylacine habitat before we came along and ruined it. These days, the only things you'll find roaming the land up here are some peacocks, some wallabies, and occasionally, a rugged manly explorer. All we can say at this stage, for sure, is that the whereabouts of any surviving thylacine is a mystery. But dead or alive today, their legacy lives on with the people of Tasmania and its culture as the entire country mourns such an important loss. However, Australian game development team Chrome, new kids on the block back in 2000, were ready to throw their thylacine into the ring and have a crack at bringing the species back to life. And by the end of 2002, Ty the Tasmanian Tiger was released. 
And this is where our journey begins. We're going cross country, baby, because I believe these buggers still exist somewhere out there. And this tiger is going to lead us right to them. So until next time, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe and share. I'm Square Eye Jack and I hope you have a great fucking day. Thanks for watching. Oh, <laughs>